Put your hands together for the Lord. In the first service, we looked at the force of divine direction. Only the directed can remain ever successful. The reasons for man's frustration is because he wants to do things on his own. If you must be ever successful, if you must continue to record more breakthroughs, you need direction from God. And in the second service, we looked at the force of self-discipline. The, the force of self-discipline. And we are made to understand that no one can discipline you like you. For you to arrive at where God has in mind for you, you need to start now to discipline yourself so that you can get to where God has in mind for you. If you are not disciplined, you will never mature for the blessing God has for you. And in this service, our focus is on the power of vision. Don't forget our central topic for today is taking your business to the next level. Proverbs 29 and verse 18. Proverbs 29 and verse 18. Where there is no vision, the people perish. But he that keepeth the law happy is he where there is no vision the people perish Proverbs chapter 4 verse 18 but the path of the just the path of the part of the just is as the shining light that shineth more and more unto a perfect day. It is possible to flourish with vision. It is possible to get to your next level with vision. But it is inevitable for you to perish without vision. So without vision, you cannot get to the next level where God has for you. Where you are now is where you saw yourself some years back. If you must go beyond where you are now, you must see beyond where you are now. A man's mind is the center for vision. And that is why a man with an undeveloped mind can never see beyond where he is. Every child of God is ordained for unlimited breakthrough. Every child of God is programmed for consistent progress. But without vision, you cannot go beyond what you are doing now. That is why 
you cannot arrive in the tomorrow that you cannot see today. So your business, your career, your family, your finance is at the mercy of your vision today. There are many people in church wasting because of lack of vision. I want you to know something today. Visionlessness can kill faster than HIV. A person with HIV can live long than a person without vision. Lack of vision can kill you. It can kill your family. It can kill your business. Because God can only bring you to what you can see. No man can last longer than his vision. Vision is the reason why you will go stronger and stronger. Why your business will go from strength to strength. David had every reason to live longer because he could see father. Everything was against him. He had plenty of rejections at home. His brothers, they were against him. Bitterness and anger from King Saul. But he said, I shall not die, but live. If you die, it's your choice. If your business is dying, it's your choice. If your business is not flourishing, you killed it here before it started dying. The business did not die on the table. The business did not die on the location. The business first of all died in your heart. The business first of all died in your heart. When your vision is stronger than frustration. When your vision is stronger than opposition. Frustration will bow. Opposition will bow. Your vision will outlive them. Only those that can see there are permitted to get there. One of the laws of vision in life, in business, in career, in family, God operates as far as your eye can see. Not as your location gives you. Not as the environment determined for you. As far as your eyes can see. If you must take your business to the next level, you must first of all see your business beyond now. You, you must begin to picture your business in the next level. What do I mean by next level? Now, I remember way back in 1991, 1992. Anytime we are on uh, vacation on, uh, from university. And I travel to Lagos. I used to meet one Fulani man called Hassan. Hassan used to sell sweets, biscuits, chingom, detergents on the table. 
Chungong. But before we graduate from the university, that's in 1995, and I visited again, I was so shocked. I was so shocked. We went to buy something somewhere. Guess who I saw? The same Hassan that was selling on table. Now he has lines of shop. One, two, three, four, five. Inside one is bags of rice. Inside the other one is supermarket. In, inside the other one is cosmetics. I tapped Stanley. I said, what happened? He said, nobody can understand. But this man consistently grew that small shop until he now has lines of five shops. Hassan started as a megad. But now he has lines of shops. If you fail God, heaven will be angry with you. Permit me to say Hassan was not, is not born again. But, but the law of vision does not know whether you are born again or whether you are not born again. It only respects those as far as your eyes can <inaudible> see. Where you are now is where you have been seeing yourself. If you must change level, should I say this? Money is not your problem. Many are looking. Few are seeing. The, the money is not the problem. What guarantees a change of level is vision. Any man changing level. Vision is the propeller. So where there is vision. There is bound to be motion. You remain in motion when your vision is progressive. If we take the story of the Joseph, and then Joseph dreamt. Yusufu Yamafarki. And scripture said he dreamt yet another dream. Yamafarki, Sana Yada, I want a Mafarki. And again, he dreamt yet another dream. Sana Kuma Yada, I want a Mafarki. If you stop seeing vision, you stop changing level. I want to say this again. Doors open for you. Because of the vision you see. Help us come to you. Because of the vision you see. So in the one of the laws of vision again. You can't attract what you have not seen. What you see determines what you attract. If you can't see it. God can move it. Another law of vision again. Your vision determines your opportunity. If you are not meeting good opportunity. Go and check your vision. Your vision is a local vision. Your vision is a local vision. Because the quality of your vision will determine the size of your opportunity. Hear me? As a child of God, Opportunity is a spiritual magnet that respond, that respond only to people that carry vision. When we talk about business changing level, when you think of growing large, God will first of all ask you, What's yes thou? 
Ubengiti Allah ze bara tembeka mekagani Jeremiah was yes thou Yache irimia menene kagani Mike was yes thou Hare nziche menene kagani Benga was yes thou Yache benga kema mekagani Madawa was yes thou Matumadawa kema mekagani Because God will only give to you as far as your Do eyes can see Ubengiti Allah ba ze baka nekade abonde idon kayagani And Jeremiah said I see the rod of an almond tree. He said, Thou has well seen. He said, I will hasten my word. Visionaries. They enjoy the act of God. I, the Lord, will do nothing. Except I see what is in your mind. Do you know what? Whatever is going on in your mind now will attract two personalities. If it is good, it will attract God. If what is in your mind is evil, you will attract Satan. Now to him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think. If you are a good visionary, you will be changing levels and people will be wondering how are you getting things done I want you to hear this vision is not a dominant thing but rather a progressive force it has power to move you it has power to move your business. It has power to move your career. I want you to hear this again. Your career is not at the mercy of the environment. It is at the mercy of your vision. The larger you see, the larger your vision becomes. The larger that business will grow. What makes men change level is vision. But do you know what? If it must come to pass, you must locate it in the book. There is nothing you want to achieve. There is nothing you want to see come to pass. That, that is not contained in the word. Isaiah 34. Verse 16. Isaiah 34, verse 16. Studio, help me. Seek ye out of the book of the law and read. No one of these shall fail. None shall want her mates. For my mouth it had commanded and his spirit it had gathered them. Whatever you can see, you can say. And whatever you can say, the spirit will gather. Do you know what? Even marriage, you can see your husband in the world. He made them male and female. The person that will marry you now is existing somewhere. God says it's already existing somewhere. Until you see it. The only thing that will be coming out from your mouth. Nobody wants to marry me. 
Nobody is asking my hand in marriage. And what you say, you will see. If you say nobody, in the realm of the spirits, angels will make sure that nobody will come. Because you have used your mouth to say nobody. Nobody. So even if there is somebody, angels will say, move. Move. Not you. She's, she's not calling you. But when you say, my husband is on the way, my husband must locate me. And just we go and drag him on his nose. Just like they located that sister. And the man that was doing like a vegetable was able to propose. Hear me and hear me where. Hear me and hear me where. Visionaries are loud talkers. Change of level change begins with saying if you must change level in the hands of change you must say it. Don't lay naked for that. I like the way Bishop Abia puts it. In Ajida Yen the Shiba Bamba. Whatever you want to see. Declare to the atmosphere. Declare to the atmosphere. If you can't say it, you are not permitted to see it. But when you say it, you mobilize the forces of the spirits to bring it to pass. In your life. You must be a loud talker. Visionaries are not slow talkers. Whatever your mind can see, your hand will handle. Your hand will touch. Your life will attract. In the law of vision, I uh, for anyone that wants to change level, imagination determines attraction. Imagination. You must imagine it first before you can attract it next. So your vision determines what you attract. What you Proverbs 23 verse 7 As a man thinketh in his heart As a man seeth in his heart For as a man thinketh in his heart So is he What is the meaning of so? So is so. So means it has become. So means it has come to pass. Now, what change of level do you want to come to pass? When they change God says, start seeing it. If you are seeing it, you will become it. Genesis 11 and verse 6. Genesis 11 and verse 6. And the Lord said, Not Satan, no. And the Lord said, Behold, the people is one. And they have one language. And this they began, they begin to do. And now nothing. And now nothing. And now nothing. Will be restrained from them. Which they have imagined. Which they have imagined to do. Before you do, you must see. You must imagine. If you can't imagine it, God can't move it for you. Hear me and hear me where? I like what Papa said. I'm not surprised at where we are. 
I would have rather been surprised if we were not there. I am not surprised at where we are. I would have rather been surprised if we were not there. Life moves you in direction of what you see. Vision is not what you see when you sleep. Vision is what takes sleep away from you. It's not the one where you see when you go and lie down on your bed and you begin to snore and begin to see yourself in Angwatashe. No, that's not that one. Vision is what takes sleep away from you. Vision makes you sleepless. Because he wants to bring you somewhere. He wants to bring you somewhere. But if vision must be a reality, if a change of level must be a reality, you must look beyond your situation. You must at least leave people's opinion. I want you to hear this. People's opinion will never be in your favor. People's opinion can never, till Jesus come, be in your favor. You don't live by what people think about you. If what people think about you is what you are worrying about, you are a classified failure. Till Jesus come, don't expect everybody to think well of you. Jesus, our Savior. Yesu Christi mechetomu even said yafadi wo is you keto gereku when men think well of you and the mutani sinti na kya kya want na ne gere akan ku the meaning of wo is cause what keto shine laana so i'm excited when people don't think well of me what o kasance the politiki in local tin the mutani o ba samba ka patan alheri do you know why concern one abu the plan of my life is not in their hand so I'm not expecting anything good from them. The plan of my life is in the hand of God. He's the only one that said that I know the thoughts that I think towards you. Thoughts of good and not of evil. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. To give you a future. A hope and an expected end. The people that are thinking bad of you, they are thinking of how they will end you. But God is thinking of how he will take you further than where you are. Which one do you want? People's opinion or God's vision? So relax yourself. Retire people's opinion. So that you can go further. Life is sweet. When you can picture what God has in mind for you. If every day you wake up, you are just getting angry. This person doesn't like my face. This person doesn't like my face. Hear me? Don't wait for who like your face. <laughs> Wait for the God that is happy about you. Your change of level is determined by you and God. That's why scripture says, if God be for us, who can be against us? Your, your tomorrow is in the hand of God. Your change of level is determined by God. So, believe in God. 
believe in his word in case you don't have vision or your vision is not enough you can acquire more vision is the currency for change of level money is not the currency for change of level vision is the currency for change of level as far as your eyes can see you are small today but there is guarantee that you will be big tomorrow because God said though thy beginning be small thy latter end shall greatly increase you may be on the floor today but the top is calling you tomorrow you may be living in one room now but God is saying in his word that very soon you will build estates can you see they can't even say amen let me tell you now I came to damage poverty in your life poverty will fade away from, the, from your house and from your family if you are saying amen, say better amen. If you must change level finally, you must think it. You must behave it. You must be saying it. You must reject stagnation. Permit me to say to so someone Stagnation is even tired of you You say leave me I want to go to another place I want to go and look for another person But you are still holding it I want to let you know in case you don't know Your situation is tired of you Are you tired of it? When you are tired of it, you will break loose. How do I know you will break loose? Jacob. Wait. Jacob. 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 Knew Yasani. that Chewa. he was in the lineage of the promise. He got to a point. He said, this is not how my father has lived. No. I need to get to that place. There is something better than what I'm seeing now. My, my father said it and I know it must come to pass. And that day, and that day, he prayed. Oh, that thy hand will bless me. I will not let thee go except you bless me. That day he was tired of poverty. He was tired of being on the same spot. He was tired of experiencing, experiencing the same old thing but as he prayed the angel asked him what is thy name he, he said my name is Jacob he said no your name is no more longer Jacob but now Israel for as a man that have power with God and has prevailed I want to say to someone poverty will leave you today. Stagnation will leave you today. Lack will leave you today. Beggy beggy will leave you today. Boro boro will leave you today. Debt will leave you today. Any power that wants to keep you on the same spot, they will leave you today. Rise up to your feet. Rise up to your feet. Rise up to your feet. If you are rising up, rise up quick, quick. Rise up to your feet now. Breaking loose goes with violence. 
breaking loose goes with violence. Scripture says, since the day of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God suffered violence. And the violent take it. Your change of level is not by choice. It's by force. I say it's by force. Levels don't change gradually. Levels change violently. Are you ready to pray? Are you ready to pray? Where do you see yourself? Before the end of this year. Where do you see yourself in the next two years? Where do you see yourself in the next five years? Your problem is I don't have money. You have been saying it, I don't have money. But that is not your problem. Your problem is nobody wants to help me. But under God, that is not your problem. Your problem is you cannot see beyond where you are. You are going to pray. Father, I, I make up my mind. I am changing level. I am changing level. I'm getting married this year. My husband, wherever he is, I call you forth right now. The helpers of my change of level, wherever you are, locate me. Whatever has been limiting me, I break the siege now. Lift up your voice. Pray from the depths of your heart. In the name of Jesus, pray from the depths of your heart. Jirua si kateno rabata leko teri andere du shana nadosa rekle pebre di zozo legaderos la zeto teko preko terota leko kapreke tere zize lika tereta jekoka meko telote lego degodo razosa liga de brega de brega de brega de liga de brega de rusi katole shedo rabalados lego do shigo do brega de gados. Lego do shigo brega de gados. Lanzusa neke brega te. Improbo liko telota. I'm changing level. I refuse to remain on the same spot financially. I refuse to remain on the same spot maritally. I refuse to remain on the same spot in my assignments. I am changing level. I'm breaking forth into new heights. I'm breaking forth into new heights of favor. New heights of grace. New heights of wisdom, new heights of progress, new heights of supply, new heights of ma marvelous help. In the name of Jesus, I am changing level. I am changing level. Recotana brekito, zeso likota brede siata, laporero Jesus ekota leha reto pariada naketo lebresh ziso nagabresh. Predilo si soliata, recotezo di catalas, recote predi gababa, 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 reziana de culados, zecoteria baladas, lemprodio gigolaradas, lenso sono de gologodos, emprata, licotarata, jasosia talabo, shagadarata. I'm changing level. I'm changing level. My levels are changing. My story is changing. My level is changing. In the name of vision. It's only God that can give vision. You can't give yourself vision. It's only God that can give vision. If you are not born again, what is in the book, the Bible? 
is not permitted to answer to you. Wherever you are, you want to say, Jesus, come into my heart as my Lord and as my Savior so that my life will be different. So that my story will be different. Wherever you are, put your right hand on your chest. And say this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, I come unto you today. I know that I'm a sinner. Forgive me. Wash me with your precious blood. I reject sin. I reject Satan. Come into my heart. Be my Lord. Be my Savior. In Jesus' name we pray. If you pray that prayer with me, wherever you are, Come forward right now. Come forward right now. I want to pray with you. I want to pray with you. Congratulations. You pray that prayer with me. Come forward right now. Your story is changing. Your life cannot remain the same. Come, come. Come this way. Come this way. Come this way. Your story cannot remain the same. Shall they in no wise cast out? They've accepted Jesus Christ as their Lord and as their Savior. I stand as your servant, decreeing today that the guilt of their past they are rolled away. Every cause, every accusation of the wicked over their life, they are blotted out right now in the name of Jesus Christ. The story is changing for the better. You can never remain the same again. In Jesus' name I pray. Put your hands together for Jesus. Follow this man now. Follow this man. Hallelujah. Name we pray. Let's share the goodness together. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the presence of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Please, the head teacher.